Hello students, in this video we are going to see about what is FFT and why we go for FFT and what are the types of uh, fast Fourier transform. What is FFT? The full form of FFT is fast Fourier transform which is nothing but a simple implementation of the DFT which produce almost the same result as the DFT gives but the FFT gives incredibly more efficient and much faster which often reduces the computation time significantly. The, this is the reason why we go for fast Fourier transform. It's just a computational algorithm used for fast and efficient computation of the discrete Fourier transform. The types of FFT is decimation in time and its inverse and decimation of in frequency and its inverse. Decimation means reduction. So, the name itself uh, gives the meaning, uh, reduction in time and, uh, and, the, and also reduction in frequency. Uh, the FFT gives the incredibly, incredibly more efficient and much faster DFT results. This is the comparison of computational speed of uh, DFT as well as FFT. If the number of sample is 8, uh, complex multiplication, the formula is n square which is nothing but 64. 64 complex multiplications must be needed to compute DFT. And when compared to FFT, only 12 is needed because n divided by 2 log base 2 n is the formula for complex multiplication in FFT. So, uh, comparing uh, complex multiplication of DFT and FFT, it gives 5.3 times improvement in processing speed. As well, uh, when compared to complex addition, uh, the formula is n into n minus 1 when it comes to DFT. So, uh, 6, 8 into 7. So, 52 complex additions must be needed. When compared to FFT, 24 complex addition is needed. This is... Uh, Likewise, uh, if uh, when the number of sample is 16, complex multiplication is 256 and in FFT, complex multiplication is 32 for the same number of samples. It gives 8 times improvement in the processing speed. Like that, 256 uh, number of samples, it gives 44 times improvement in processing speed. So, um, from this uh, analysis, so we can conclude like this. Um, increase in number of samples provides the improvement in um, processing speed. So, if uh, we go for 8 number of samples, 5.3 times improvement can be achieved. If we go for 16 number of uh, uh, samples, 8 times uh, improvement uh, will be achieved. So, number of uh, samples uh, will be increased, will provide the uh, numerous time of uh, improvement in uh, uh, processing speed. So, FFT is the efficient uh, algorithm and the computational uh, process to get efficient as well as um, high uh, speed uh, computation. This is the decimation in time. This is the basic butterfly diagram for DIT FFT. Here, number of samples which is given in the uh, problem itself, the in input side bit reversal order is uh, performed. Uh, we can uh, know um, what is a bit reversal order in the next slide and then we have to substitute the twiddle factor. Uh, the W uh, yeah, n power 0 is, is nothing but twiddle, twiddle factor representation. Uh, this twiddle factor representation is before the butterfly lines in decimation in time and in, yeah, and in inverse of its DIT, this but, um, twiddle factor is after the butterfly line. Okay, and uh, in the 2 power n lines, minus 1 is uh, added uh, for the every 2 power n lines, so for the 2nd line, 4th line, 6th line and 8th line. And here it is also for 4 butterfly lines, uh, this uh, um, last 2 lines have the um, uh, minus 1 terms and for 8 lines, uh, last 4 terms uh, gives the uh, minus 1 terms. It is nothing but uh, if 2 lines are needed, the last line have the uh, uh, minus 1 term. If 4 lines are uh, uh, taken, last 2 lines, uh, 2 power 0 lines, 2 power 1 line and 2 power 2 lines are, uh, are taken as minus 1. And the final output is uh, uh, taken as normal as it is uh, get in decimation in time. Okay. Um, here is the process and the next uh, uh, slide, how we can uh, do the bit reversal order and how we um, calculate that Biddle factor. This is bit reversal order. This is the index. For 0, the binary representation is 0, 0, 0. 
for uh, 3 uh, 0 11 and for 5 1 0 like this uh, for the 7 um, numbers are uh, taken and for bit reversal binary uh, we have to uh, reverse the uh, bits for 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 is a uh, bit reversal binary for uh, 1 double 1 uh, sorry 0 double 1 1 1 0 is the bit reversal and then we have to take the uh, bit reversal index 0 0 is 0 1 double 0 is 4 and like that 1 1 0 is 6 so this is the bit reversal order for the uh, number 0 to 7 so uh, as like this uh, we have to substitute the uh, bit reversal order in this uh, format uh, first we have 0 and 4 2 6 1 uh, like that uh, we have a uh, 0 4 2 6 1 5 3 7 so this is the bit reversal order and then we have to find the twiddle factor uh, uh, values and formula for twiddle factor is w n power r e power minus j 2 pi divided by n into r for number of samples 4 the twiddle factor is 1 and minus j for number of uh, sample 8 we have to uh, calculate w 8 power 0 w 8 power 1 w 8 power 2 and w 8 power 3 these are the values of uh, twiddle factor and we have to substitute these twiddle factor values in this uh, butterfly line finally uh, we have to substitute all the uh, values if uh, if we have 0 1 2 3 means we have to substitute the values of uh, samples in this places and the substitute of twiddle factor uh, values in this places and then we have to do the problem uh, how to we uh, do the problem is uh, we have to take in this um, uh, values as the same line as uh, addition and we have to um, um, sorry we have to multiply the values of the same line and we have to add the values uh, from the other line okay um, let's see the example problem here the exam uh, x of n is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we have to take the bit reversal order so we have to take the values as uh, x of 0 is 0 x of 4 is 4 x of 2 is 2 and x of 6 is how we uh, get this uh, values are uh, through the bit reversal order and then we have to substitute the twiddle factor values w 8 power 0 value is 1 so we have to substitute 1 so we have to multiply the uh, same um, line values so uh, 0 uh, 0 into uh, nothing so 0 is uh, uh, like and then 4 into 1 because uh, 4 and 1 are in the same line 4 into 1 and this 4 is uh, uh, given to the previous line and we have to add the uh, other line uh, value so 0 plus 4 which is uh, equal to 4 and th at this point the value is 4 likewise we have to um, multiply minus 1 with the 4 uh, so minus 4 uh, we have to add the above other line value so 0 minus 4 is nothing but minus 4 so at this point the value is minus 4 likewise we have uh, we have 2 and 6 into 1 6 so 6 plus 2 8 and then uh, 2 is uh, lies into uh, next line so we have 6 into 1 into minus 1 so minus 6 plus 2 final answer is minus 4 likewise we have uh, get the first radix 2 values and then we have um, uh, check with the next uh, butterfly lines so in this in this point uh, we have 8 8 into 1 is 8 8 is given to the first line up then 4 plus 8 is equal to 12 likewise in this place we have minus 4 into minus j minus into minus plus so 4j 4j is given so in this point we have 4 uh, so uh, we have minus 4 in this uh, point plus 4j so minus 4 plus 4j in this point we have 8 um, 8 into minus 1 minus 8 uh, from this point we have 4 plus 4 so minus 8 plus 4 which is equal to minus 4 in this point we have uh, minus 4 into minus 4 minus j which is equal to 4j into minus 1 which is nothing but minus 4j we have minus 4 from the line 2 so minus 4 minus 4j likewise likewise we have to uh, calculate uh, radix 2 4 lines but 4 lines values and then um, multiply with the uh, twiddle factors and then add with the above lines and uh, uh, these uh, values are given uh, to the below lines in in this uh, point we have a 12 and in this point we have 16 so 
60 minus 60 minus 16 plus 12 which is equal to minus 4 and finally we have a set of capital X of values and finally we have to um, like uh, write like this from normal order you know, when we compare it to uh, DIF which is nothing but a uh, decimation in uh, frequency this order is uh, uh, right uh, um, inverse for inverse dit also first we have to normally take in the input value and then we have to uh, draw the lines and then substitute uh, uh, for inverse term uh, inverse uh, dit we have to substitute the twiddle factor at the uh, after the butterfly lines uh, in this uh, dit we have to substitute the twiddle factor before the butterfly lines but in the in inverse of inverse process of uh, uh, decimation in time fft we have to substitute the uh, twiddle factor in the uh, twiddle factor after the butterfly lines these are the difference uh, between dit and fft but uh, the calculation method is same as it is next one is uh, decimation in frequency so uh, in, uh, in the input we have to take in this uh, uh, place uh, uh, 0 is um, correct one um, wrongly one is typed okay uh, so in, in decimation in frequency normal order of uh, samples is given and then uh, butterfly lines and we have to substitute that middle factor and then again to uh, four lines of butterfly lines and then uh, again we have to substitute uh, Mm, twiddle factor and then uh, butterfly lines and then we have uh, to substitute the twiddle factor finally we have uh, mm, x of n values and we have to take the bit reversal order of output so in dit uh, input is bit reversal order twiddle, twiddle factor is applied before the butterfly lines and uh, uh, output is normal and in uh, inverse, inverse of this dit twiddle factor is af applied after the uh, butterfly lines and uh, input uh, is uh, normal output is inverse uh, bit reversal order likewise decimation in frequency is input is normal order and uh, twiddle factor is applied after the butterfly lines and then output is uh, taken as a bit reversal order format mm, and these are the explanation about fft and how the sum is due is explaining for uh, DIT so we have to do the same procedure for other uh, three types also thank you